In this session of uh, digital marketing and its significance, uh, we will take more uh, examples uh, to make us understand how significant uh, digital marketing in this contemporary scenario. Okay, so uh, moving further, uh, let me give you an overview about uh, the learning objectives of this session. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about the digital marketing scenario in India, to explain the concept of digital marketing, to understand uh, the domain of digital marketing, and to discuss uh, the significance of uh, digital marketing. So, we all know that, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you look at the, uh, you know, the uh, about the internet and mobile phones uh, with the world now shifting to the digital side of things uh, businesses around the world have recognized the need and the importance of changing the way they market their products marketing now has transformed into digital marketing uh, which has enhanced its scope uh, in simple words uh, digital marketing can be defined as the uh, marketing or promotion of products or brands using various forms of digital media or in other words electronic channel, channels. There is a common notion that digital marketing is all about marketing using the internet. But in fact this is not true. Uh, though internet is one of the most important uh, medium of digital marketing, it is not the only one. In the modern world where uh, Customer is the king and marketing is the tool that aids businesses to satisfy the needs of the king. Digital marketing plays a very crucial role in the success of an organization. So, in this juncture, uh, uh, you know, we all know that, uh, you know, the second largest country in the world, India, it seems to be the second uh, largest country in the world. And if you look at the digital India has taken off dramatically, 59% uh, of Indian population will be using internet by 2021 as per the statistics given by uh, Cisco Visual uh, Networking Index. And uh, we all know that the high growth of smartphone uses in India, and there are many factors such as uh, the affordable. One of the main benefits of digital marketing that is that it's uh, super affordability. Marketing digitally costs much lesser than traditional marketing. Uh, businesses have the option to invest according to their budget and still get the desired results. This typically helps uh, small businesses to grow and uh, to cater to more people without having to go over the budget. Uh, digital marketing has provided the level field to the smaller organization. And uh, the next factor we may consider is ease of monitoring. Another important aspect of marketing through the digital medium is that the responses, uh, reactions and results can be tracked and uh, monitored very easily. Uh, and also it helps the organization in saving the cost and time of uh, conducting an expensive customer research. It also provides uh, real-time data which helps the businesses in quickly adopting uh, to the changing uh, you know, consumer behavior and in deciding the future course of action. And uh, the next factor I would like to hide, uh, highlight here is widens uh, reach. With more and more people now consuming content digitally, it has become very essential for businesses to have a strong digital presence. With a strong digital ga marketing game, organizations can take their products and services to place which would have been uh, otherwise inaccessible. This widens uh, the reach of the product or service as more people can now access information about the product easily using electronic media and uh, greater conversation rate uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, greater conversation rate. It means that it has been observed in many researches that business using uh, digital marketing have a higher conversation uh, conversion rate than those using other mediums. Uh, digital marketing can be used as a very effective uh, tool to create new customers or uh, converting non-buyers or prospective buyers into actual consumers. This is possible because uh, uh, I am sure that the digital marketing uh, provides the option of customizations uh, to the organization and marketing can be customized based on customers liking uh, preferences and uh, needs in order to attract more customers. And the next factor I would like to highlight in this session is that uh, building brand loyalty. Digital marketing enables organizations to solve customer grievances, hear and respond to customer queries and suggestions in a fast and more effective manner. This uh, helps in ensuring that customer is not only satisfied with the product but also with other aspects uh, relating to the organization. In this way, uh, I think uh, businesses can use an effective digital marketing strategy to build brand loyalty and hence avoid the risk of losing customers as in today's era of cutthroat competition, the organization focus more on retaining the existing customers. So as I was mentioning about huge data unlock is along the way and uh, uh, there is a little bit of statistics and the declining prices of mobile phones. You can witness that uh, nowadays you can uh, get the affordable phones at a great price uh, like uh, in uh, Flipkart and Amazon and uh, uh, the, uh, mo the mobile phones are the first preference of internet access. Uh, we can very well know that and also huge data unlock uh, we uh, just now I was mentioning about that uh, there is a huge data consumption uh, the consumption rate has been increased among the consumers of digital and people are uh, spending a lot uh, on these uh, digital consumptions and uh, when you look at the social media platforms uh, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have, uh, you know, uh, Instagram and so many things are doing a revolution uh, in digital marketing. And uh, internet and mobile phones have impacted the tra traditional marketing uh, in a big way. Uh, I can, uh, I'm sure about that. I think uh, as being a learner, you would have uh, witnessed about this and uh, digital marketing. Uh, I was uh, just now mentioning about the definition of digital marketing. Uh, Reitzen in 2007, he has uh, given a very comprehensive definition. Uh, digital marketing is the practice uh, of uh, promoting and uh, uh, services using digital distribution channels. Uh, uh, now we call it as omni-channel to reach uh, uh, consumers in a timely uh, relevant and personal and cost-effective manner. So, uh, in nutshell, uh, digital marketing is the process of uh, marketing of products and services by using internet and uh, digital devices like computers, tablets, mobile phones, etc. So, uh, the concrete definition here is digital marketing is the process of marketing of products and services by using internet and digital devices like computers, tablets, uh, mobile phones, etc. I think it is very comprehensive and you can easily remember this definition, I believe so. And we all know what is marketing, uh, you know, uh, we need to understand the value of the customer and we need to satisfy the needs and wants uh, according to the value proposition expected by the customers. So. In, uh, as per the definition uh, uh, given by Philip Kotler, marketing is the process of identifying customer needs and satisfying those needs uh, by delivering the products or services, by creating the value for customers as well as for the businesses. 
So basically the key points here is that uh, we need to identification of needs, uh, satisfaction of needs in marketing, delivery product or services and we need to create value for customers and create creating value for uh, customers as well as businesses is very much required in marketing. So I think I can uh, talk about an example developing a MOOC course in digital marketing uh, companies and businesses even uh, institutes like Sastra, uh, they understand the needs of the customer and try to whatever the expectations uh, and value proposition requirement, they try to satisfy uh, the needs of the learner and they do uh, pricing of the product and, uh, pro and uh, you know, they develop the uh, required product and they do promotion and, uh, and many more like distribution, they do it and also they use intellectual people, uh, faculty, great faculty quality team, and also they show a lot of physical infrastructure, physical evidences, and uh, they come out with very lucid, uh, user-friendly process. Uh, so this uh, example, uh, which uh, will uh, really make you understand uh, what is uh, marketing is all about. So in this case of uh, digital marketing, uh, Let's talk about Digital India, uh, the Power to Empower initiative. And uh, moving further, uh, we have uh, uh, the examples I was discussing about developing a MOOC course on digital marketing. And also, uh, you know, Google, how Google is employing and networking with uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, how uh, it is trying to promote the product and services by understanding the value proposition of the customers and uh, you know uh, when you look at the uh, India's uh, digital ad spend uh, I think that this statistics uh, in terms of TV 30 percentage and print it is 4 percentage and of course you see the you know rapid increase uh, of digital because it's more specific and it is targeting the customer very precisely that's why now marketeers are trying to you know spend more on digital marketing and it is almost 30 percentage and also the other aspects of 15 percentage and also we have a radio 15 percentage and cinema 20 percentage they are uh, trying to spend on digital uh, so Let's, uh, you know, before uh, we discuss about the recent development in the digital era, uh, let's also, uh, you know, talk about uh, the uh, Digital India, the Power to Empower Initiative. Uh, see, we all know that the digital transformation in India started with the campaign well known as Digital India. Digital India is a campaign that was launched by the government of India for citizens to ensure the country and the citizens are technologically empowered with the high speed internet and availability of government service on the internet. And also, the campaign consists of three uh, components uh, that, uh, as a learner, you should understand. One is the development of secure and stable digital infrastructure, and also delivering government service digitally. And, uh, and uh, you know, they are working on uh, building universal. Uh, digital uh, literacy and we all know about the uh, campaign uh, uh, the promotion uh, done by and the initiative taken by our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji to launch the campaign on 1st july 2015 there are nine uh, pillars of digital india uh, which uh, targeted specifically by the government of india one is the broadband highway uh, universal access to mobile connectivity uh, public internet access programs, e-governance, uh, reforming government through technology, e grantee and electronic delivery of services, information for all. I think you guys uh, are uh, on every day, you are all witnessing about the developments in India and the initiative taken by government of India. And uh, there are a lot of electronic manufacturing hubs has been established and a lot of IT jobs has been emerged uh, and there is also an early harvest program on these benefits uh, 
the campaign received a huge amount of appreciation from the leaders of Silicon Valley, Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook, and uh, uh, if you look at uh, Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook, uh, he has changed his profile picture to support the Digital India program and also promised to uh, Wi-Fi hotspots in rural Indias in India. The program being uh, live for five years has brought in a lot of changes in the country. And uh, when you look at the smart cities are being built to save the environment uh, and use the existing technology and bring in more new technology into the country. Uh, the linkage of Aadhaar to every service is related to the government. Documents issued is the progress towards India being transformed digitally. So in the birth of the program, the internet subscribers of India have increased to more than 500 million. Uh, till date. So, uh, the uh, growth of uh, digital India, uh, I, I can talk about the growth of internet usage, usage of internet. I mean, uh, as discussed, the growth of digital India has been magnificent. Uh, the Power to Empower initiative has made many Indians to enable the facility of using their phones and increase the usage of the internet breaking the barrier of being physical present at a place to conduct any businesses, allowing them the accessibility at the fingertips. We noticed that there has been an increase of 1.8 million since the initiation of the program, notifying us that there is still there is a wide scope for growth. The government of India has taken all measures to uh, bring in connectivity at rural areas, Currently, there are around 800 million uses of mobile devices in India and about 430 have an access to internet, which is a third of India's population. As quoted by Ritam Desa, head of India's research, we believe internet access will double in the next 10 years and we estimate that 915 million Indians will be on the internet by 2026. This is an amazing effort and an amazing statistics uh, and uh, the vision is great. So next one is the uh, the growth, the increase in smartphone users. So India has the high, you know, growth of smartphone users uh, and the penetration of social media. So India has the highest population in young people. It has the largest and fast paced growing population internet users in the world. India has the third largest internet population in the world after China and US. As stated above, there is an increase of 1.8 million in the use of internet. The use of rural areas has touched 210 million by 2019-20. The end crowd of India will account of 54 percentage of the total number of citizens by 2020-21, up from 40% uh, in 2015. Rural areas will have an increase by 40 to 50% 50 by 2020 21 when compared to 2017. Smartphone internet users are likely to constitute to uh, 70 to 80% of the total online population by 2020-21 as compared to 60 to 70 percent in 2015. The advantage we miss here is that the most of the rural areas access internet through their smartphones. And of course, uh, you know, demonetization has brought uh, an increase in the usage of smartphone due to digital wallets, making cashless transactions easier and at the consumer's fingertips. Next one is the, the concept of uh, digital marketing that we need to be able to also discuss about the uh, decrease in, uh, you know, uh, smartphone prices. How is the price drop in smartphones related to digitalization? Uh, this, is the because, uh, this is because as India moves towards the journey of digital transformation, there is an increase in the demand of smartphones. Uh, generally, increase in demands leads to increase in supply and costs and increase in price. 
But in the market of smartphones, when the demand and supply chain, uh, what same way the competition plays a major role. As there is a competition in the market, this leads to fall in price. Uh, to be competitive in price range, offering the best features at the lowest value and making the profit from the product. As the market grows, there will be a reduction in prices due to increase in demand and supply and of course increase in competitors also. Uh, and when you look at the uh, tariffs per GB of data, there might be an increased use of uh, in this uh, uh, smartphone category. But a smartphone today is useless without an internet connection. Uh, though the price of the smartphone might drop, there is an increase in the want of an internet connection. India as a country lacks internet connectivity. This is because uh, we don't have enough internet gateways in India. There are only four gateways, Chennai, Mumbai, uh, you know, Calcutta, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, Kochi, Agartala, all that. The public demands the internet, but there is still a lack of public demand. The public demand high-speed internet at cheaper rate. The cost of uh, 100 MBBS in India, uh, which is similar to that of US rate of $100 per month. And, uh, but the public does not want to pay for high rates of uh, high-speed internet. As, as we notice, there is an increase in demand and the tariff per GB uh, will increase due to monopoly in the market. We lack uh, uh, la national internet exchange of India. The internet India is received through data centers in Singapore, through submarine cables, uh, which is exception, exceptionally high. Uh, unless the rate uh, transit does not lower, the rate of internet in India will not decrease. Uh, and when you look at the uh, social media penetration, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, it is uh, doing a phenomenal uh, job. Uh, and uh, we all know that YouTube and uh, Facebook having the 30 percentage penetration each. And of course, India ranks second when compared to other countries. This most amount of users in Facebook, okay, and social media is the easiest way uh, to reach out the customers uh, 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 to huge enterprises, firms are working on their social media awareness for creating noise and uh, building awareness. Uh, and uh, one thing of going digital, the first instinct in starting Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter page, uh, 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 and the internet and mobile phones have impacted the traditional marketing in a big way. We have been talking about how to increase in demand of smartphones has led to an increase in demand of internet. Understanding this concept, we realize that mobile phones and internet have changed the whole uh, ballpark of traditional marketing. Uh, traditional marketing consists of advertisement, uh, uh, running of television, radios, uh, news, magazines, etc. These mediums of advertising has not been entirely uh, replaced, uh, but have dropped the visibility due to the advancement in digital marketing. Mobile phones have made it easier for everything to be available at one click. Uh, the availability of internet has made it effortless to reach out to the target audience with the right set of advertisement, thus challenging the traditional marketing methods where the advertisement is uh, showcased to general public and is also very high on the pocket. So, so recent trend in digital ad expenditure. So as per the uh, uh, statistical uh, statistics, uh, uh, we can uh, see that the digital ads are at 30 percentage which is the highest form. From this, we can uh, derive that digital ads have picked up more relevance when compared to print and TV. Uh, as discussed above, uh, I mean, uh, as we discussed uh, uh, in the earlier session, digital marketing has taken over traditional marketing. And we can very well uh, say that. And also, digital ads or the ads 
to create awareness over the internet. The trend of digital marketing is working on the number or clicks being the ad being viewed by the audience. The digital ads allow the businesses to bring in the right audience and target the correct set of uh, audience. The digital ads not only help huge enterprises but also help small business units to create awareness about the services and products. I think uh, I can quote example here, homemakers uh, uh, can showcase their work through various social media platforms and uh, put up advertisement to create uh, startups can uh, track the number of people visiting their site using analytics tools and Google words. So let's now talk about the domain of uh, digital marketing. All the activities which are performed as part of digital marketing process. The domain of digital marketing. So in the domain of digital marketing, there are different domains of digital marketing available. One is website planning development, uh, search engine optimization, uh, search engine marketing, display advertisement, uh, social media marketing, email marketing, uh, content marketing, online reputation management, affiliate marketing, marketing analytics, and uh, digital marketing strategy. So now let us, uh, you know, go in detail on all these elements. So first one is, uh, let's talk about website planning and development. Uh, so when you talk about the, uh, you know, website planning, is the most crucial aspect of digital marketing. When a business is set up, uh, the first thing that is required is whether you have a website or not. To say, uh, showcase the range of products, services that you have to offer. Uh, website planning includes a process. Uh, I, I, I think uh, we can also discuss about uh, those, uh, you know, uh, process. So developing a website is very important as we will learn all digital marketing through techniques through our website. And uh, we all know that website is the backbone of digital marketing. And it plays a very significant role in all digital marketing activities. Uh, uh, and uh, so website planning, uh, you know, uh, uh, includes uh, a few processes. Uh, for example, uh, you know, uh, we have... Uh, uh, information gathering, uh, that's the first step in website planning and development. Uh, and next, we need to plan uh, as a digital marketer and de design. We need to go for a very lucrative design of the website. And also, we have to put the elements in the web page that is the development side and the, because it has to be very interactive. And also, we need to test and deliver whether it has a great acceptance or not. I mean the uh, navigator, I mean the consumers and also a good after say service, a proper maintenance system has to be established in order to, uh, you know, make the customer satisfied. Uh, next one is, uh, let's uh, talk about this uh, search engine optimization. So this is the most important uh, aspect of digital marketing. It is the process of maximizing the number of visitors to the website by ensuring that the website is seen at the top of the list given by the search engine. Uh, search engine optimization is important in today's competitive market. The first place to search uh, about anything and uh, uh, gather uh, information uh, is search engine. Uh, example, when you type for search uh, in Google, or any other search engine uh, as you as you wish a set of algorithm is run in the background uh, which in return display the first place second place etc of the website there are two types of seo uh, you know uh, I, I i think uh, you can see this uh, you know result page there are two types of seo one is on site and off site okay so, uh, 
So what is this? Uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, uh, in search engine, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, many things uh, like uh, uh, organic results and uh, inorganic results. Uh, organic results are without uh, uh, getting a sponsor or advertisement. Inorganic results, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, you need to... Uh, uh, advertise you can see here this is an advertisement uh, so google ad uh, will promote your web page uh, so that's why it is called inorganic results and uh, when you talk about organic results because of your content updation uh, uh, since you are enriching your website consistently because of that it get listed in the first page uh, that is called organic results uh, so these are the few examples I'm uh, just showing you. Uh, so uh, when you ask me how to bring website to the first page, uh, I, as I said, uh, it is the content, enrichment of the content and all the elements uh, involved with the web page uh, so that uh, uh, the customers uh, will uh, you know, visit more uh, so that uh, it uh, automatically reflect on the first page uh, that we call it as uh, organic results. Otherwise, uh, you know, you have to pay to Google Ad uh, company. They will bring your page to the top uh, according to the expenditure on the advertisement. Uh, so that's about it. So now uh, let's uh, move further uh, to understand uh, the uh, what is, uh, uh, you know, search engine optimization. So, in understanding uh, the search engine optimization, uh, so now let's uh, look at, uh, it is the process of maximizing the number of visitors to the website uh, by ensuring that the website is seen at the top of the list given by the search engine. SEO is important in today's uh, competitive market. The first place to search about anything and gather information uh, is search engine. Example, when you type for a search in Google or any other search engine, a set of uh, algorithm is run in the background, uh, uh, which is a written display of first place, second place, etc. of the uh, website. Uh, so that we call it as uh, uh, search engine optimization. So now let's uh, move further to make us understand what is, uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, search engine marketing is all about. Uh, this marketing is a kind of marketing where one pays for the advertisement uh, that appears on, uh, you know, search engine results. The keywords on the site are set up bidding on services like Google or Bing. Uh, they might enter a few keywords uh, that are related to certain products or services which gives the advisor an opportunity to showcase their advertisement for such query. These kind of ads are generally known as pay-per-click ads. A few of these are small text-based ads, visual graphics. The biggest strength of search engine marketing is that it offers advertisers an opportunity to showcase their ads in front of their customers to motivate them to make a purchase when they are ready. How does Google decide that an ad will be visible in search results? Uh, by looking at the uh, quality of ads and the amount of willing to pay and also the selection of keywords and also the amount of uh, competitor ready to pay. Uh, so these are the, you know, deciding factors uh, that the ad will uh, visible in the search results page. Now let's talk about, uh, you know, display advertising. Uh, see, uh, display advertising is a type of advertising uh, that comes in various forms, including banner ads, uh, rich media and more, unlike uh, scripts based ads. Uh, display ads uh, rely on elements such as images, 
audio and video to communicate an advertising message. In order to identify unique anonymous buyers, website nowadays use uh, cookies uh, to track uh, these users. Using these cookies, uh, they release if the buyer has brought a product or service or else uh, they have just served it. As the advertisers, as the advertisers collect data from the users online activity, they combine the information to create the picture of the user's interest to deliver to the target audience with targeted advertising. This kind of advertising is known as behavioral advertising, the ways to measure display advertisings. Uh, there are uh, many ways uh, to measure display advertising. They are uh, the reach, uh, click-through rate, uh, bounce rate, conversion rate, and uh, return on investment. Uh, for your knowledge sake, I'm just uh, uh, giving this information. Uh, next, uh, let's talk about uh, social media uh, marketing. Uh, like, uh, share, like, share, subscribe or like, follow, repost. These are one of the most common words used in social media to gain more attraction. We all know when it comes to social media marketing, the first thought of social media sites pop up uh, like Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube and etc. The main agenda of uh, social media marketing, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, is to create awareness and gain audience, uh, create a voice in the market, obtain brand awareness and uh, of course visibility. Uh, social media marketing can be done in two ways. Uh, we call it as the uh, you know um, active uh, uh, social media marketing promotion and passive social media marketing promotion. Active uh, consists of the following. Uh, this type of consists of the content that uh, derive the audience towards the website of social media uh, network. Uh, uh, as we all know that uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google+, uh, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. All these, uh, this is all a passive consist of being constantly active by updating the users and being interactive. By updating the statuses, uh, images, live sessions, uh, video articles, uh, etc. Uh, by passive promotion, one can understand uh, the problems of the users and solve the dissatisfaction. And now let us also understand about the uh, email marketing. So, remember those days where we would uh, like, yes, I received an email. Now with this email, amount of emails we get, most of us are hardly trying to check our mails. So email marketing has uh, been one of the initial ways to do promotion through the internet where the email ID was asked to keep the customers updated with the new catalog of products or services. So email marketing is done, keep the audience updated on the current offerings. Uh, the brand has to offer to them. It, uh, it is uh, by either sending out an email blast or making them uh, aware, uh, you know, by personally uh, sending an email to make it customized. Uh, being able to send an email is the same being invited into someone's house. You can only send an email once you receive the email ID. You can send the email and only at the request and permission of the users you can send the email out. Same as when you can enter the house once asked to enter. So there are a lot of uh, you know the you know uh, practices and uh, marketers are using Mailchimp uh, and many more uh, app, Weber, get response, all these uh, is very effective uh, email marketing tool. They reach out the consumers. And uh, uh, moving further, let's talk about uh, content. Uh, you know, uh, what is uh, uh, content marketing? Uh, content marketing is not just blog post on social media. 
it is all about storytelling to gather attention and bring in curiosity and interest there is a re uh, reason to why few things uh, pick up so well in the market because uh, the content is well picked up and chosen to market very well this is long term strategy that focused on the long term relationship uh, with the target audience by providing them with good quality content uh, which is relevant to them uh, the 3d model of content is uh, like uh, uh, mapping to pain point mapping appropriate content mapping to bicycle uh, just for your input, uh, I think I'm giving you this, all these, uh, uh, you know, detailed aspects of content marketing. You can explore using Google to know more about it. Okay. So the next one is about, before uh, we go to the next uh, element, uh, uh, I would like to reinforce the definition of content marketing because there is a lot of Plenty of job opportunities are prevailing with this uh, one who is getting expertise with content marketing uh, stuff. A content marketing is a strategic marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience and ultimately drive profitable customer action. So content marketing, as per Content Marketing Research Institute, uh, digital marketing is not possible without content. Content is marketing, is part of social media marketing, uh, such as in optimization, uh, display uh, uh, advertising, and search is in marketing. So as we again, uh, uh, you know, insist on digital marketing, is not possible without the content. Content marketing is part of uh, social marketing, SEO, display advertising, and search engine marketing. So now let's talk about the uh, what is uh, you know mobile marketing. So mobile marketing is the kind of marketing uh, uh, where the advertisement need to appeal to the mobile device users. Uh, mobile marketing provides potential customers using smartphone with their own personalized convenient time at their own comfortable location according to their choice uh, to browse through the option they are entitled to on the go uh, in today's world uh, if one does not have mobile marketing they should that uh, uh, the era of mobile has already arrived and it is being a while uh, strategy of mobile marketing or application based marketing in game marketing qr codes using qr codes and also location based marketing mobile search ads uh, mobile image ads and sms uh, the best practices for mobile uh, uh, marketing is that uh, as being a marketer uh, be clear and concise uh, when you deliver and communicate. Optimize for locals. Consider your audience requirement and value proposition. And also experiment with the different strategies, uh, which is uh, gives excitement to the consumers. And also give benchmark your results. So, uh, you know, when you talk about uh, mobile marketing, this of course is a multi-channel digital marketing strategy aimed at reaching target audience on the smartphone tablets or other mobile devices via websites email sms mms social media and applications so now let's uh, talk about one more important component uh, uh, which makes the students to earn also uh, which we call it as affiliate marketing so it is a type of uh, mar uh, marketing where you promote other people's uh, products if you like it and for every sale you make on the product you receive a promotion there are three parties involved in this one is the advertiser publisher and consumers example i can talk about amazon uh, is the horse set which sells other products clear so for them you can be an affiliate so 
Uh, the, uh, the nutshell definition about affiliate marketing is the process of promoting other businesses and in return getting the commission. This promotion done usually through blogs, websites or emails or social media pages by the users and they give references on the products and uh, I think uh, you can explore Amazon Associates and uh, Flipkart affiliate uh, programs and many more. Uh, you can uh, Google it and uh, try to know more about it because uh, you try to earn, uh, you know, through this. Uh, product. So uh, affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing is the process of promoting the other business and in return getting the commission. This promotion done usually through blogs, websites, emails or social media pages. Uh, I was mentioning early Amazon Associate and Flipkart affiliate programs. Uh, you can make use of it and you can earn while you learn. Okay. So, uh, moving further, let's talk about the uh, web analytics. Uh, uh, you know, what is uh, the web uh, analytics is all about. So, web analytics uh, is nothing but measuring and tracking the performance of marketing effort is very important for of digital marketing process. So what happened, uh, we have now Google Analytics. Uh, it clearly tells you what type of consumer segment is using your product and what the, why they are interested. All kinds of reasons and the elements which has been uh, really analyzed using uh, uh, the Google uh, you know, Analytics. So this is a great tool for marketers and uh, marketers can very precisely spend on this. Uh, you know, the marketing expenditure will be very much channelized precisely uh, using this Google Analytics. So it is a very helpful uh, tool uh, for the marketers for investing on advertisement. So moving further, let's talk about uh, online uh, uh, reputation management. So online reputation management is the process of controlling uh, what the users look at when they are online. Uh, this includes uh, negative feed, uh, risky comments, anything, anything that brings in a bad name to the brand. Online reputation management helps us manage all of the above. Uh, online reputation management is important because uh, uh, for that reason, when one searches about the product or services of a particular brand, the user tend to make decision based on what they see. No one is held accountable for false accusations. Everything online is protected and recorded, which in turn wants us to be aware as well. Having a good content makes most people with the knowledge. Uh, so uh, that's the input uh, about online uh, reputation uh, management. Uh, online reputation management is the practice of crafting strategies that shape or influence the public perception of an organization, individual or other entity on the internet. It helps drive public opinion about a business and its products and services. So, uh, when you talk about digital marketing strategy as a marketer, when you use all these uh, techniques, uh, then uh, you are really employing uh, comprehensively the digital marketing practices to target uh, the targeted audience and you can position your products in the minds of the customer. But to recap, website planning and development, search engine optimization, such as marketing, display advertisement, uh, social media marketing, email marketing, content marketing, mobile marketing, affiliate marketing, web analytics, online reputation management, digital marketing strategy. If a person is very strong on all these aspects, definitely, and it is the need of the hour and uh, as a learner, you can very easily get employed or you get self-employed when you know these contents of digital marketing. So uh, let's uh, take some of the case examples of uh, uh, digital marketing uh, practices 
uh, which is followed uh, in uh, digital marketing strategies. And uh, in a digital marketing strategies, uh, uh, a, this is a series of actions that will help one grow using online marketing. It's called digital marketing strategy. We all know that. Uh, uh, I think uh, I have shown you this stuff. Uh, if you look at the steps to build a, a comprehensive digital strategy, okay, uh, first step uh, we can follow is build your buyers personas. That's very very important. Next one you can what you can do here is uh, identify your goals and the digital marketing tools you will need and also evaluate your existing digital marketing channels and assets uh, and uh, of course audit and plan your own media that's very very important and next uh, step you can do here is as a digital marketer audit and plan earned media uh, then uh, you can uh, follow the next step like audit and plan your paid media uh, as i mentioned here uh, and uh, and uh, try to you know synchronize everything, bring it all together. So I think uh, uh, that is uh, is really going to add value to your digital marketing strategy and its uh, associated practice. So let's talk about the case studies uh, of uh, uh, companies like Geoni, Housing.com, Og India, Star Sports, Tata Motors, Fevi. Wake up, Paytm, Paytm, and the ICICI. So let's talk about the Geoni. Uh, the fast growing mobile brand, we all know that, launched its Geoni E7 model at the Buddha International Circuit with the theme of racing corresponding to its speed and efficiency. The hashtag race with the Geoni and made for shooting, uh, I think, uh, managed to create. An overwhelming response uh, while providing an uh, opportunity for participants to be part of the launch uh, of uh, event at one of the India's most iconic uh, destinations. I think this is a great example case information about the digital marketing practices. Uh, and next one is I would like to quote housing.com. The brand created a lot of optimism and uh, a new wave uh, of identity uh, with its launch of lookup campaigns uh, bolstered by the usage of a logo which uh, projected the same meaning many people shared their uh, uh, lookup moments and as a result uh, the brand generated a lot of interest and audience content uh, next uh, case information about digital marketing practices is that uh, you know, Vogue India. So what uh, Vogue India did? Uh, Vogue India roped in one of the most famous faces in Bollywood fraternity, Deepika Padukone. we all know that. Uh, uh, hashtag My Choice became extremely popular with the launch of the video by Deepika Padukone, citing the need and choice for equality for women. It is received appreciation and recognition from the rest of the Bollywood including our superstar Amitabh Bachchan. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, about the uh, Star Sports Company. If you are a cricket fan, you would have uh, surely come across uh, Mocha Mocha song launched uh, at the time of IC, uh, ICC Cricket World Cup 2015. The advertisement uh, wittingly takes on every opposition in India potentially faces in the World Cup. Although it brought some controversy, the song gave a boost to Star Sports PRP during the mega event. And next one is uh, our great company Tata Motors. The hatchback model of Tata Bolt was launched in a very distinctive way of gathering social media influencers and making them complete, compete in a reality event. These influencers had to acquire a digital key of the bold car to the glass cubicles uh, by. So this is a great example of, uh, I think, uh, uh, Tata Motors. Uh, I think uh, uh, the, these influences had to acquire a digital key of the bold car to the glass cubicles by creating the most social media buzz 
and matters to all the consumers. The winner obviously won the car and many other prizes. So you, it's a huge successful campaign, which so, uh, I mean in digital marketing. And uh, of course the Feviquit, uh, Fevi Fic. Okay, this controversial but smart ad was launched at the time when the emotions of India and Pakistan were at a high during an India-Pakistan match. And the hashtag to do nahi jodo campaign generated a lot of buzz during this period, although it was not marketed extensively. And next one is, uh, of course, uh, Paytm. Uh, when you look at Paytm, much of what Paytm is today is thanks to its digital campaigns, such as uh, hashtag Paytm Karo and the zeal of uh, uh, trust. Uh, it changed the scene of money transaction in India and they coupled it with a strong and efficient customer support and services which had a great role to play in boosting their brand, especially around the period of uh, demonetization. And about uh, the last uh, uh, you know, case information about digital marketing successful campaigns, uh, we talk about ICICI uh, going, uh, you know, ICICI launched its own uh, mascot called the Cash Wenger, who would go around teaching young people the benefits of going cashless and using debit and credit cards. The campaign hashtag Life Without uh, Live Without Cash also contained a series of creative images, which generated a lot of interest among the youth. Uh, uh, and helped them garner more interest, uh, you know, uh, more interest uh, in going cashless. Uh, 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 dear learners, uh, I think uh, it's time to conclude uh, this session. Uh, digital market is fast being adopted by small and large businesses alike in India, with the extensive support offered by the government and many other international government, and if the practice is is almost similar everywhere in across the globe, along with numerous successful campaigns springing up every now and then. It is tempting to start the next social media campaign really fast. But in order to gather the most of its benefits, it is crucial to follow certain rules and tips. It is necessary to understand in depth the process which governs it, what makes it different in its diverse forms. Lastly, it is really going to add value uh, to the subject called marketing. Uh, nowadays, people are talking uh, much about digital marketing, and it is important to continually analyze any undertaken campaign to make it better and more impactful the next time it is executed. Uh, uh, to recap, I think uh, uh, with the, you know, the uh, learning outcome, what we intend to learn on today's session uh, to discuss the significance of digital marketing. Uh, I was talking about uh, to the digital marketing scenario in India and also I have uh, covered the concept of digital marketing and also to understand uh, the domain of digital marketing. Uh, with these uh, valuable inputs uh, uh, from my uh, end, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think, uh, you know, hope uh, certainly would have appreciate uh, the digital marketing and its significance uh, in this contemporary scenario. Hope uh, all of you enjoyed my session. Thank you so much.